I'm Eric Birch from MiningClips.com, and I'm with the resource maven, Gwen Preston. Hi, Gwen. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me. You know, over the last three to four years, we've seen metal prices continue to slide, and then they've sort of just been bouncing around the same level for, for the last little while, really not gaining any traction or losing any traction. And a lot of the retail investors seem to have uh, gone out of the space. Uh, but you're here to tell us that you can. there are still some good buys out there, there's still some m way to make money in the market, and ultimately markets are cyclical, so if we're down now, at some point in time they'll come up. Uh, so what are your thoughts on what people should be looking at right now, and how would, should we position ourselves for when the market recovery comes? Sure. I mean, big question. Uh, and it actually has a couple, in my view, it has a couple, there's a couple different parts to that answer. So yeah, looking out across 2016, I wish I could say that I expect the mining markets to take off and start running again. Um, I do think it will be a better year than last year. Um, I don't expect dramatic improvements. But a slightly strengthening, somewhat sideways market is still made of some stocks that are doing well, others that aren't, but there's gainers in there. There's opportunity within that. Um, so, and at the same time, later down the road, the market will really go, and you want to position now for when that happens, because five years from now, you'll look back and you'll really thank yourself for having done that. So there's kind of different um, criteria that you have to apply in order to make some money now, make some money soon, at, like in the medium term and make some money in the long term. So to just break it down a little sort of quickly, in the short term the way that I see it is there's good opportunity to pick up smaller gains. I'm talking 20, 30, maybe 40 percent. Now it's nothing to shrug at. I'll take 40 percent any day of the week. Mining investors invest in this sector because the gains can be much bigger than that. But they're not really available right now, those huge gains. So let's pick up the 20%, the 40% if it's there. And those opportunities come from uh, seasonality, so understanding predictable patterns in certain commodities when they move, um, and sort of the sector when it moves. There's real opportunity in that. Um, for example, right now I have some gold tax loss selling candidates that I've put in the portfolio who are moving up a little bit this January as gold has strengthened. And the whole goal is just to get 20% and get back out again. So there's some short-term gains there. Uh, I also see news events as an opportunity. If you follow a particular stock closely enough, you can gain confidence that their expected news is going to come out, what it's going to mean, and you can really profit off of that. Predium Resources last September gave us a good example of that, right? Yeah. Anybody following the story knew they were expecting their final environmental permit and they were then going to probably announce a debt financing package because that's the order of operations. And in the space of, I think it was a, a, a month, a little bit more than a month, they gained almost 40%. And that was just, it wasn't rocket science, it was being close enough to the story to know to have confidence that those things were going to happen. And then this market is also really interesting because lots of companies are doing deals with each other. They're merging, one's taking over another, they're buying properties from each other. Whenever the market sees that, it's never 100% convinced right off the bat. Uncertainty translates into a share price discount. So that's where you get arbitrage opportunities. So an example is Sunridge Gold. They have this high-grade copper gold project in East Africa, in Eritrea. They got a takeover offer from the Chinese that's going to put more than $100 million in their bank account. And they're going to give that money to shareholders, wrap up shop, and be done with it. That will mean a cash distribution of $0.35 cents per share fairly shortly. But you can buy the stock at $0.27 cents per share today. And that's just because the market isn't totally convinced that the Chinese are going to come through. So there's some interesting opportunities out there. Of course, you have to gain the confidence yourself that that deal is going to happen, and I have reason to believe that it is. Um, so it takes time, it takes research, it takes knowledge. But there's definitely some short-term opportunities to make money. 
Well, thank you very much. And uh, yes, uh, as the longer that this market uh, prevails, we have to get a little uh, little smarter with our due diligence and uh, look in some new places uh, uh, to to make some money. So if, I'd like to thank you, and we'll we'll sh definitely share that with uh, with our listeners. Great. Thanks very much.